how's everyone welcome back to my channel so today we're gonna make a sage and rosemary soap uh, excuse my hair I have it all wrapped up in there I just recently washed it but anyways let's get back to the topic so today we're making a rosemary and sage soap using real rosemary and sage uh, we won't be using any mm, yeah we won't be using any essential oil this is gonna be unscented so you only get to smell the rosemary itself and the sage I did use I bought these uh, let me show you guys so I bought these in a pack um, my original plan was to plant them because uh, you can do that with some herbs you just take the stem cut it up on the bottom and you put it in water and put it in sunlight and you let it grow um, you let it get the roots and then you plant it in soil but that's not how all plants work anyways um so i have those sitting on the window rosemary plants in my house I love rosemary it smells really good I love rosemary tea I like um, using it as a herb in my um, meat especially when you're cooking meat um, I haven't put it in veggie because it's really strong so it really works well with meat and um, like fishes and stuff but anyways we're gonna use this this is the rosemary and then let me see the sage this is the sage that I got so sage has a like a weird scent it's almost it's like 20 percent similar to rosemary but not quite um, we're gonna use it for our soap it smells really good though i like how it smells um we're going to use these two herbs into our soap today we're doing our 42 ounce uh soap so it's not really too much right now i'm just putting the rosemary in here i was gonna blend it with a little bit of oil but I already mixed the oil so I'll blend it with some of the water that I'm using for my lye solution so this is quite a lot of um, rosemary and now I'm gonna add some sage this is some sage I'm gonna add a little bit of water to this just enough to help the blender kind of blend things okay I just wanted to make sure it's nice and okay so guys for this soap we're gonna do a heat transfer method uh, this is the coconut oil olive oil and shea butter and we got our water here and our mixture that we just made so like here we go okay so we're back and it's hot really hot and we want it to be that hot so we're going to pour it slowly into this so it can melt the oils and that is heat transfer everyone i usually don't use this method but i'm doing such a small batch that it doesn't really matter uh who does this uh miss miss uh sterlings i don't know if i'm pronouncing her name right but miss sterlings does this method for her soaps and see how it's like melting down already that's good I love making small batches of soap. We're just gonna mix this up until it melts down. Oh wow, guys, I actually thought I was recording, <laughs> but it melted down, not all the way, so I went ahead and blended it. Shea butter in it, so next time I won't, I'll cut them down into small pieces so they melt a lot quicker. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add our rosemary mixture right in here. Make sure I add all of it. Okay, that's all I could get. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix it. Hope you guys can see. But as you mix it, it turns into this really nice brown color. Mmm, I could really smell the rosemary in here. I can't wait to see how it looks when it's cured when it's all dried up wow so far so good it turned into this like brown light brown color which is good we're gonna go ahead and blend it a little bit more i don't want to blend it too much okay we're done um for the oil
and then I'm gonna smack it down just to make sure I don't have any bubbles and whatever I have left oops I just made a more mess I'm gonna put the leftover in here probably get one bar of one massage bar in here so let's see if we do get at least one bar yes we do making sure all the bubbles is this one this one tends to like not fill up all the way like if you don't smack it down all the way you'll end up having potholes like this <laughs> and we want to have a perfect one like this nothing is broken so that's why i'm smacking it down ready i'm gonna go ahead and do my top signature this is just what i like to do with my some of them come out too small some of them come out too big rosemary and sage so Thank you. But today we're gonna cut our rosa soap. Yes, I decided on rosa. Um, if you didn't watch, well, if you don't follow me on Instagram or any of my social media, then you probably don't know this. I was asking you guys to let me know what I should call the soap. I think I also mentioned it in a video, but I decided to go ahead with Rosa because the R-O is for rosemary and the S-A is for sage. It's a rosemary and sage soap, unscented, all natural. Uh, you'll see how I made it. Probably already saw how I made it. Now we're gonna cut it and see how the color turned out. Because again, remember the color was kind of a light, light brown. You know how the color of the brown dirt is? That's what the color was before. How the color turned out it's like a beautiful green here it is <gasps> oh my god oh my god i don't know if you guys can see those ingredients are really good for the skin especially acne prone uh skin i have to consider what my skin is so all my products are kind of lean towards people who are acne prone oily have oily skin so that that's who i cater to like sensitive oily skin acne prone if you're in not any of those categories then my products will work really best for your skin of course if you're also normal skin you know you don't break out a lot but you still want to use like natural ingredients on your skin these ingredients that I use in my soaps in my oils in my face mask are really good for like not harming your skin you know anyways we're gonna go ahead and get started with our cutting okay guys so this is the so, oh my goodness, look at that nice green color. The smell is kind of subtle at the moment, but let's see how it smells like when I cut it. And we also have the little one that's in here. Actually, we're gonna go ahead and start with this one. Let's start with this one. Ooh, so far so good. The curing process was good. I gave it enough time. Okay, wiggle, wiggle our way out. Good. I made sure I... Ooh, perfect, look at it. Everything is perfect. Yo, I love, I just love the green color. Like green, everything. Now, so it's pronounced Roda. So let's go ahead and cut it. Um, Let's see, our first cut of the day. Okay, I wanna make sure I cut this one really good. This is my first time making it. Oh my goodness. You know what, I think it's gonna brown up a little bit more, but we'll see. Cause you, you know how the edges, like the trimming, the frame is kinda darkening up. It might darken up to that color, but I'll keep you guys updated to see if it darkens up. Okay, let's do a smell test. Let's do a smell test. Yeah, it still smells like rose and sage. It's just a little bit subtle. Yeah, 
yeah you can smell it it's it's really subtle like it's just giving off small hints of it it's not really out there you know showing up its scent i like it you no know, i'm thinking if i do if i need to add like a rosemary essential oil just to brighten up the scent a little more but yeah i think i'm gonna add i think on my next batch i think i'm gonna add a little bit of rosemary essential oil just to brighten it up a little bit it is a little bit too subtle but i want to smell it a little more so yeah we're gonna add a little bit of rosemary next time um you know what actually i'm not gonna i'm not gonna scent it i, I like the subtle yeah i'm not gonna scent it i, I like the subtle natural scent of the soap because it's mostly going to be used on your face if that makes any sense the second one i like the little top i like the top i definitely do like the top okay this one is definitely a perfect bar this one is two Alright guys, so we're done with our cutting. This is our massage bar. Mm. It has this really subtle, like, mm. so calming. It doesn't even smell like grass. You know how grass, I know it looks like it's made out of grass, but it's not. Um, you know how grass smells like? It doesn't really smell like grass. I, I, I thought it was going to smell like grass after I put it in the soap. But it has this strange, it has this like calming scent, like really subtle. Um, and massage bar. I like to use that on my face, and this is the regular bar. Oh, it's so beautiful! I love it. Look at the little. I like to do this little texture on top. Yeah. And all my bars of soaps are an inch and a half, so 1.5 inch, and uh, probably like three inches tall. Three inches tall, and uh, 1.5 inch wide. Yeah. I really can't wait to use this and try this out with the oil that I made because I also infused some rosemary in my oil. So this soap is going to go well with the rosemary oil. This is how my turmeric soap look like. So I'm going to have a green. So here are my three soaps that I'm going to be selling on my, for my brand, for my business. It's mostly going to be these three soaps. So these are the three soaps that I pick be selling on my because I used to be all over, I used to make like seven different types of soap and that's not really organized, it's like all over the place. Um, I will be removing other soaps. Um, I still have a few of other soaps left, but it's like two of each or three of each. And those I'm probably gonna gift it to friends or do a giveaway for them. But for now, these are the three soaps that I'll be selling on my, uh, for my brand. So we got the Rosa, we got the Suave. So we got the Rosa, Rosa, or Rosa, Rosa. So we got the Rosa, we got the Suave. The Suave is, Suave just means smooth, like smooth. That's what it means. Um, this is a really good, this is really good for smoothing out your skin. And it's also good for like brightening up your skin as well. And we got the tea tree and turmeric. I don't have a name for this yet. <laughs> I'll probably call it Dahabu. How about that? Because I have a Dahabu body oil. But since I'm not doing the body oil anymore, I'm doing a facial oil instead of the body oil. So the oil that I'm making is specifically created for your face, skin, nothing else. I uh, just the tea tree the only soap that's gonna be scented is the uh, uh the tea tree and turmeric focusing on these three soaps so yeah i'll be focusing on these three soaps. But anyways that's all for my video today i hope you enjoy it yeah you did if you did please go ahead and give it a thumbs up <laughs> Also comment below, give me a comment, let me know what you think about the video, let me know what you think about the soap <laughs> and the ingredients that I use. Also let me know what you think about the name that I use, Rosa. So I'll be pronouncing it Rosa and sometimes Rosa, all the same thing. You can pronounce it Rosa or Rosa, it doesn't matter. Alright guys, so that is all for my video today. I hope you enjoy it. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And also let me know down below what you think about the name Rosa or Rosa whatever way you want to pronounce it let me know what you think about the name let me know what you think about the ingredients that I use they're really good for acne prone skin so let me know what you think um, 
I'll see you again in my next video. Amahoro!